Hello! Happy and cheerful morning to all my dear students. I hope you all are fine at home and taking care of your health. So what we did? We discussed the poem number 6 that is Tiptoe Night. Okay? We have completed the explanation as well as the question answers. Okay? So now we will do the remaining exercise and the worksheet part. So let's go. So what is this? Here are the lines of the poem given. Okay? And there are some blank space. So we have to fill the blank space with the help of these help boxes. Okay children? So let us begin. What is the first one? Not a dash. Not a sigh. Okay? So what will it be? Not a footfall. Okay? Next one. Not a dash of the dash. So what is it? After not a football, not a sigh, not a dash of the dash. It is not a ripple. Ripple of what? Ripple of the air. Okay? Next one. Not a dash to reckon by. So, what was it? Not a dash to reckon by? Yes. Not a sound to reckon by. Then, yet I dash that he is dash. So, it is yet I know that he is there. So, we have completed the paragraph of the poem. So, such kind of questions can come in the exams. So, you have to remember and memorize the poem. Okay, children. The next one. True or false. Now, sentences are given and you have to tell whether they are true or false. Okay. So, the first one. The night comes quietly without making a noise. So, isn't it true? Why? What is the poem about? Tiptoe night. So, yes, it is true. The next one. The poet waits to hear the footsteps. Okay? So, is it true? No. Why, children? Because no one can hear the footsteps of the tiptoe night. Okay? So, it is false. The next one. The night moves towards the window pane. Is that true? Was this word in the poem? No. It was standing at the window sill. So, this is false. Okay. The night stands at the window sill. So, we have discussed this in the previous one. This is true. The last one. The poet notices the night at the garden gate. So, is this true? Yes, children, it is. Why? Because as the night comes down, first where it went, it went to the garden gate. Okay? So, now... We will quickly discuss some question and answers. Okay? So, the first one. The poet is unable to hear the footsteps made by the night while moving. Okay? Then how do you think the poet manages to count the night steps? Okay? What is he telling that? Kisi ko bhi night ke step sunai nahi dete. But still the poet is telling that I can count it. So how can he count it? I think the poet manages to count the steps made by the night while arriving at the window sill. Okay? So we have discussed what? That as it comes down, 
First we see it is at the garden gate. Then it is near the window sill. So the poet must be watching. Okay? He must be watching. See here it has come. So this is how he must have managed to count the steps. The next one. Think of the things that move quietly without making any noise. List them. Then write two sentences about them. Okay? So here I have given the clue. You can write these things. Okay? You can write the names of these things. And then you have to write few sentences about it. For example, the sun. Now we cannot hear when the sun comes. Okay? Night ki jagar. Sun bhi aise hi aata hai. Tip to. Hame pata nahi chalta. So you can write about the sun. When it rises, when it sets. Okay? In the same way, the snails. They also move very quietly. Okay? The butterflies. They sit at the flowers. But can you hear them? No. But what they do, you can see. So you have to write this on your own. The next one. Write six rhyming pairs in the poem. Okay? So what are rhyming words? Rhyming words are those which have same sound at the end. Yani ki end mein jo hai sound same karte hain. Okay children? So let us see. See I have marked these ones. What is it? We can have to read from the first line. Lane. Tip to night comes down the lane. All alone without a word. Now these two are not rhyming. But in the next line, taking for his own again. So, lane and again are rhyming. So, we have got our first rhyming pair. Okay. In the same way, what is the next one? Word and bird. All alone without a word. Every little flower and bird. So, word and word are rhyming. So, we have got the second one. Okay, in the same way, I'll do one more. Sigh and bar. Now, see, where is it? See, not a footfall, not a sigh. Okay, not a ripple of the air. Now, notice that sigh and air are not rhyming. But, uski jo next line hai, not a sound to reckon by. So, sai and by are rhyming. These two. So, these are rhyming pairs. So, in this way, you have to find the rhyming pairs in the poem. Okay, children? Now, we will do the worksheet. Look for six animals in the puzzle and write them. One has been done for you. So here is the puzzle. And in this puzzle, there are the names of animals hidden. Is puzzle me animals ke naam chupe huye hai. Hame dhunne hai aur hame aise circle karne. Okay children, I'll do two for you. Now look at the first line. Is there anything you found? Yes, it is cow. So you have to circle it and you have to write it over here. Now in the same way, look at the next line. Is there anything you can find? Yes, it is rabbit. So you have to circle it and you have to write the name over here. Now the remaining three, I'm leaving it for you. You will do it. Okay? The next one. Match the following. Okay? So what you have to do? See, here is the names of the professions. And here is the names of the places where they work. Yaha pe professions ke naam hai. Doctor, scientist, teacher. Okay? And wo log kaha pe kaam karte hai? Wo is column mein diya hai. So aapko match karna hai. For example, clown. So, clown kaha pe kaam karta hai? Is it in a hospital? No. Is it in a library? No. 
is it in a circus yes so you have to match it the clown entertains the audience in the circus okay now teacher now you also know where does the teacher works the teacher works in the school so you will match this okay the next one what is it doctor so doctor kahan pe kaam karta hai the doctor works in the hospital so aap use match kar denge okay in this way you have to solve the match the follow now answer the following in short okay so who is the author of the poem tip to night who was it john drink water okay but you have to write the full sentence the author of the poem tip to night is john drink water what does the tip to night takes for his own again so the tip to night takes little birds and flowers okay give meanings of the following what is it reckon and lay okay so humne meanings discuss kiye the poem ke niche there is a section of meanings so what is reckon reckon means to think to imagine okay children and lay you have to write it on your at the end of the poem where is the tip to night now finally humne kya padha tha last way in the last sentence where is the tip to night it is at the window sill okay children so we have completed the chapter along with the worksheet i hope it is clear to all of you we'll meet in the next class till that take care of your health god bless you all have a nice day